just a short drive from Batemans Bay is the Mogo Zoo. Now this is one I've been really looking forward to. This independently owned zoo is home to a huge collection of exotic animals. As you can see, we've got the convoyers behind me. I'm going to catch up with them and see what it's all about. Well, one of the best things about visiting Mogo Zoo is the up close and personal encounters. I've got Peter and Charlene with me. We're going in to uh, meet a rhino, is that right, yep, Steve? 100%. Let's go and meet. I have never seen anything quite like this. Always oh, leaning in for a pat. And this is definitely oh, so special. Good boy, good boy. So uh, what have you got in store for us next, Steve? Um, next on the agenda, I thought we might go and meet a lion. Who wants to meet a lion? <laughs> Righto. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> I've been told that the best way to make friends with a lion is a bit of a pat and a treat. Yep. Uh. I think we've got something in common. Oh, you can feel as soon as he latches oh. on. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, oh, hi. Oh. <gasps> And the animals were so exotic. There was giraffes, lions, tigers. And I think the real standout with these up close and personal encounters that were on offer. Well, one of the convoyers, Shelley, was particularly excited to see the meerkats, but she's not only gonna see them, she's gonna get up close and personal with one of the employees here, Sarah. Let's have a look. Uh, they like food. <laughs> yeah. They've got this little growl Yeah, going. they're growling, but they're growling because they're excited about the food. Tell us about those up close and personal encounters. Yep, so the zoo has a bit of a reputation for that kind of thing and I think it's a, a way that people can, you know, really get that connection with animals. It's really important. Animals are in a lot of trouble worldwide. You know, it's a, it's a hard thing to keep people happy but also tell them the hard truths and that's part of our job is to really educate people, let them get up close, get a sense of how beautiful these animals actually are. Well, it's been an unforgettable afternoon at Mogo Zoo. I've certainly made some memories to last a lifetime. But for now, let's head back to the park for some hints and tips.